It does at this factory in Wellingborough. The executives here have dollies on their mind, walking mini replicas, not the human kind. Modern dolls are really tiny robots. A tape in the tum gets them talking, and a power pack in the back gets them walking. The whole process, from sculpting the doll's head in plasticine to designing the clothes, is carried out at this doll's factory. It's a complicated business, producing the cuddly miniatures that little girls love. Even more complicated now that technology can decree near-human attributes, Head making is an old craft, and so far the technologists haven't managed to stick in a brain. But the way things are going, it could happen yet. When the head is finished, the mass production can begin, and scores of decapitated bonces are moulded from plastic and sent down the conveyor belt for a bit of hair-raising coiffure. No cosmetic problems for these dollies, either. Spray on lips and eyebrows will last them all their lives. The whole process has a chilling, macabre tinge. It's almost horrific the way they pop in the doll's eyes with workaday nonchalance. The dictates of today's child decrees that their dolls follow the latest trends, so hairstyles must be up to the minute. And sometimes even a doll can set the trend for a fashionable hairdo. Trendy clothes are important too, so here they design up to the minute etc. for the little plastic lady. The anatomy of a doll may be machine molded, but the frills and flounces are all handmade. Designing the midget clothes is a serious business. Some of the dolls really are almost human. If you yank at their arms, it hurts. And listen to the things today's dolls say as we give guest room to a character from another film series and his friends. Hi, I'm Bugs Bunny. How do you do? I'm Dr. Doolittle. My name is Rosebud. I love carrots. I talk with animals all over the world. Think what fun they have asking crocodiles for tea. I don't want to go to bed. I'm sleepy. 